welcome hello everyone sanket here today we are going to see a tutorial for protein ligand interaction after we have done the docking steps so uh, to understand what is docking and what are the different steps in docking you can refer to um, a, a videos the previous videos of mine where i have talked about what is docking what are the different steps in docking and uh, given you an in depth in depth tutorial of um, how to perform molecular docking using autodock vena in this uh, we are going to see after we have done the docking how to actually look at your protein and the ligand interaction so uh, this is your ligand here and uh, the best dock ligand and this is your a uh, protein uh, the target protein now how to find out which are the ligands which is uh, which are the amino acids in the pocket region of the protein which is interacting with our uh, best pose ligand here uh, in order to do that um, we'll have to what we'll have to do is uh, so this is your pose and this is the protein we'll have to save this entire best protein complex so we'll go to file Uh, and then we'll say export molecule okay uh, then selection so we'll just uh, say uh, leave it as enabled then we'll click on save okay and uh, you have to save it to whichever folder you want so this is a docking folder which i had created much before um i can save it as complex because it's a protein ligand complex and then i can select save yeah so uh, we have the protein ligand complex being saved here now we do not need this so we can close this now the tool which you are going to use here for uh, ligand uh, preparation uh, ligand interaction protein ligand interaction is this called as lick plus so you can download the lick plus, uh, lick plus and a, a folder Uh, will be um, a zip folder will be uh, downloaded uh, from the lick plus um, uh, uh, site uh, this folder you can unzip it and you you will get this here it uh, when you open it you will see this lick plus executable file this jar uh, executable file you can double click on it yeah so the file has opened um now how do you import this complex file in this lick plot so lick plus is uh, the main uh, thing it's um, organized uh, it's developed by the mit college uh, by uh, bioengineering department and um, uh, the tool name the name of the tool is lick plot plus so how do you do it is go to file go to open and pdb file so you if you have an already known pdb you can enter it in this case uh, we have already saved it so we can go to browse uh then go to desktop and click on docking and this is your complex file here so this is your complex file and then you click on open all right now uh this window will open where you would say it's lick plot so which ligand do you want to select now the zn is an added iron which is there and this unk which you see unknown is the name of your ligand so you click you you select uh, unknown because this is your ligand here uh, file here and then click on run yes so this is your ligand interaction file which has opened these are your neighboring amino acid um, residues okay uh, for the pocket region the one which you see in purple titled as unk is your ligand and these two here that is threonine 231 and glutamine 198 are your interacting residues uh so your ligand here has carried out an interaction uh, mostly if you see it has carried out this you see the one which is in green these are your hydrogen bonding so the two molecules okay has interacted at this region having an hydrogen bonding with your uh, ligand so this is how you can find out what is your um 
how the, what are the different uh, amino acids with which it has interacted so this is your protein and ligand interaction if you have many more ligands you can also uh, visualize it okay so this is just one ligand if you have more ligands you can do the same thing browse it import it and then you can visualize a more number of ligands with uh, of how it is interacting with the pocket region of the protein so this is how we carry out protein ligand interaction using lick plot plus hope you have understood it thank you very much have a good day bye